That was not the only decision, however, made today as a direct result of this deadly shooting. But the choice we're about to talk about was so much harder for another Lobo who wasn't even involved in any of this violence. The UNM women's basketball team is now one PAC member short. Tamara Lopez joins us now with more on that decision. Tamara, the effects of this shooting are reaching further into UNM athletics. Julie, that's right, and it all comes down to safety. One player says she's just simply had enough of the violence. Freshman Brooke Berry has decided to head home and hang up the cherry and silver after just six months in Albuquerque. Lobo women's basketball is back in the pit Tuesday night, but they'll be missing one of the pack. Tuesday afternoon, freshman Brooke Berry announced she's leaving UNM. In an Instagram post, she said, quote, due to the two shootings that have occurred at my apartment complex, as well as the on-campus shooting, I am saddened to say that I will be leaving the University of New Mexico. My family and I feel that this is the best decision for me and my safety. Barry is not the only student to express concerns about safety. After that happened, like a lot of people just like kind of like were not really in the mood to be in big crowds anymore, I think, so it kind of made the student body not very happy. Last week's on-campus shooting ended with 19-year-old UNM student Brandon Travis dead and a 21-year-old New Mexico State basketball player injured. Barry says she lived in Lobo Village. Just this summer, we reported on this shooting, captured on TikTok in the Lobo Village parking lot. Even though the violence drove her away, she says she's thankful for her time at UNM. The violence had many students shaken up. This weekend, we spoke to UNM student Dylan Farrell, who heard the gunshots from the deadly shooting. What would you tell your parents after they said uh, they wanted you to come home? Um, I told them that I know that, you know, this violence, like, it's, it's, it can be scary, but I still enjoy going here, and I don't want to have to transfer schools. Uh, so I hope that we can figure out a way to stop having violence like this on campus. Now, Barry says she's already on her way home to Montana and says she will be weighing all of her options in the coming weeks. She will enter the transfer portal as well. And at today's press conference, athletic director Eddie Nunez says he wishes Barry the best in her career and he understands that hard decision, Julie. Okay, Tamara, thanks for the update.